Hey everybody, it's Zach here from Zach's Lego Show and Zach Attack Productions, and today I am sitting with what is probably the biggest set of the new wave of Lego sets that were released on August 1st. This is the Harbor from Lego City, and I gotta say, this is quite the set. So I'm gonna review it, so if you're interested in that, it's gonna be starting right now. So one of the fun parts about this set is you can actually split them apart using the Technic pins. And you know what? That's gonna work out pretty great because where I'm gonna put this, it's going to be needed to... <clears throat> so one of the fun parts about this set is the fact that you can actually separate the three builds you have here. So the crane, the restaurant, and the boardwalk right there is totally removable i mean honestly it's you know it's gonna work out really great because in the city of legoville where i'm gonna be putting this it's going to be flipped around so <laughs> it's really a lot of, it's really a lot of fun i was really not too sure about you know if i was going to be able to take it apart or not but as you can see you can and I'm gonna be going through each section individually right now. So this is just one of the three builds that you get with this set. This is the giant crane. As you can see, it is red and white. And now I will say this is a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, this set surprises me in every single detail and every single of its builds just continues to surprise me. I mean, Seeing this in a picture is underestimating what this looks like in real life. So you got this giant red uh, tower here that's going to actually put this ski, this uh, jet ski down onto the boat, essentially. And I'm going to see if I can do this on camera. Uh, right, might have to... Because one of the features of this is, of the crane, is this going down of course it spins around that's a lot of the problem with these cranes is that it <laughs> okay that was a complete failure um but you know nonetheless that is what it is supposed to do now <laughs> i'm not even going to try it with this one so i'm not even going to try that again anywho so going back up here to take a look at this uh, crane, you can see it's got, as I said, it's red and white, and I just love what they did with this. Looks very industrial, and just what they did up here with these as well. It is built solidly with a bunch of Technic pins, um, but nonetheless, I'm really, really excited. Let's take a look at what goes on down here, because this is your platform area, so fit your minifigs there, and I love how they have these tires to keep the ship from hitting the build, or the, the port, and the way it's actually built is really cool too. You got those arches, those stone arches, those gray, or those olive green bricks right there, and it's just done around, and of course, there's some more Technic pieces where you will be uh, putting your Technic pins when you're connecting this together so and it looks like it and that looks the same on the other side of course this is the way it looks in the back too um right there as well and of course you can see right here this crane part does move just about halfway to pick up the load and to bring it on into the ship so yeah very fun very nice love the tower crane all right let's move on to the next build so this is our walkway area of the harbor. You can see uh, right here, oop, <laughs> there goes a life preserver. But yeah, you can see it does come with a life preserver, a bench for a minifigure to sit, and a lamp post with a mini garden, as well as a map of the harbor. And of course, these two chain link fences, which is really, which are really good details. I mean, 
looking at this part, looking at this here, the lamp, they did not need to go that hard on the lamp. I mean, just, it is probably one of the most detailed small builds in this set. And of course you got two uh, posters here and this one actually advertising the new roller coaster set that did come out on August 1st as well. Of course you got a little crab right down there and of course a little ladder. Why you'd wanna go into the, rip, into the uh, harbor, I don't know. Um, maybe it's a swimming zone. Again, I really don't know. And of course you can see it just curves to bring us on into the next build, which we'll take a look in a minute. But this park here kind of reminds me of our waterfront here where I live. Um, I live right across from Detroit, Michigan, and it, it, it reminds me of our, of our waterfront. So like, I'm kind of getting like, not necessarily nostalgia, but I'm kind of getting that, you know, um, I guess present nostalgia, nostalgia. I don't know anyway, but again, lovely dark green fence really really fits there really fits the vibe and again they didn't really have to go that hard on that lamp post but I am appreciative that they did all right let's take a look at the next build so our next build here is this seafood restaurant uh, beach and pier I mean you can see here is our guy fishing Right there, you can see he's got his large fishing rod. There's no liner attached to it, but you know, he's he's out there fishing, maybe trying to uh, poke the dead fish. I don't know. Uh, got a little um, barrel right here. You can see this nice color for that barrel. Get that right there. And of course you got the fish that he has, uh, that he has just caught. So you can see the fish in there you get uh, three fish, I believe, three fish in there. We're gonna go right over here. This area right here is essentially the uh, beach. Right now you can see, got that little bit of a yellow and yellow uh, towel, I guess, or chair. And of course a red umbrella right there and just looks really good. Of course you got steps to get there to get back up here. We're then gonna take a shower off. Always love seeing these here um, included in these sets because we have so many where I live. And of course there goes a uh, paddle board. So right now you can see right here, this walkway continues from the one we just looked at right here. I'm gonna actually bring it on in closer here. You can see you got Ice cream, you got the restaurant, you got the map right there. The fence uh, again continues. Love the apron there, steps up to the restaurant. Still a little bland. And here you see you got those treats. You got a um, paddle board as well as an oar. Uh, and that's really all you got there. And of course, we're gonna take a look right here. Um, this is the inside, two brown chairs, two uh, martini glasses as well as a plate of seafood, shrimp it looks like, uh, and of course a bottle of uh, alcohol, probably. And I love the design they did with this. This looks really good, um, as well as including a uh, steering wheel, fish steering wheel up there. The sign, really good. I love the look of that sign. And of course the two flags up top, just kind of really, you know, just really compliments it there a lot of small detailing foliage there as well so that's a look at the builds of this and now let's take a look at the minifigures so these are a look at the minifigures you can see you got one uh, girl right here with her um, with her fishing net uh, hoping to catch the crab that's underneath he decides to go under there uh, she is Pretty interesting minifigure. You can see you got face, her hair looks good, as well as her um, her outfit. Really cool, double printing there. Really neat, uh, just a really neat minifigure. Of course, you got our Fisher right here. I'm assuming he might also be the captain of the ship. He's just, you know, out fishing while the ship is being reloaded. And see this uh, torso we've gotten many times before. 
uh, which is blue overalls and the uh, black cap right there. See, we also got this girl here. She's got a minifigure, or she's got her life preserver on, um, probably the foreman at the loading zone. Um, you can see she got the hat hair combo there as well. Right here, you got this lady. She runs the ice cream parlor. Just, of course, you could see classic ice cream parlor look uh, as well. So blue jean and, of course, uh, aqua blue pants. Of course, we have the little boy who is one of the jet ski riders um, there. We also got this little boy who is also the jet, who is another one of the jet ski riders as well. Both of them have their life preservers on, which is good. Of course, another worker down at the loading dock. Of course, you can see he's got the uh, same print as she, as she does over here. So that's a look at your minifigure. So now that I've actually looked at this set and told you all about it, it is time for me to give my final thoughts. I gotta say, this is probably one of the greatest city sets that's come out in a long time, especially harbor-wise. Now, as you know, we've gotten harbor sets before. Um, and this one is a really close second. I still think the greatest one was the 2007 one, I believe. Um, it's up on your screen right now, but I think that one was a good one. Uh, but this just takes it a whole lot further with the loading dock, a walkway, and as well as this um, restaurant. So they took it, they went full waterfront on this. So I really wouldn't even called it Harbor. But nonetheless, that's what it was. It was a good set to put together. I highly recommend if you have a city and you're looking for a harbor, pick this up. Uh, you won't be disappointed. And the fact that it just, like, you can separate them. That is really, really a great part of that. So I gotta say, I feel very highly about this set. So if you like this review, please subscribe to the Zach Attack Productions YouTube channel. Do you plan on getting this set? Comment down below, hit the like button to help the algorithm out a little bit uh, right there. And also, by the way, a little bit of news, Remotely Zach, September 13th at 11, we premiere then. Uh, until then, you can catch my radio show on air, Saturdays at eight, right on this channel. Again, subscribe and you'll get all of that. Um, all right, well, thank you so much <laughs> for giving me your time. Remember to keep calm, build on. See you next time, bye-bye. <laughs>